Ever scroll through social media and see people bragging about their stock market wins? Maybe you've dabbled in a fantasy league or two, picking imaginary teams and feeling the thrill of a good investment. But the real stock market seems intimidating, a land of brokers and suits and confusing charts. That's where Robinhood comes in. This app promises commission-free stock trading, a sleek interface, and the ability to buy into the market with just a few taps on your phone. Sounds too good to be true, right? Can a free app really be the key to financial freedom? Let's dive in and see if Robinhood can turn you into a stock market whiz. The Rise of the Retail Investor First, let's rewind a bit. Traditionally, investing was for the wealthy elite. You needed a hefty chunk of change to get started, and brokers charged fees for every trade. This shut out a lot of regular folks who were curious about the market but priced out of the game. Then came the rise of the discount broker. These online platforms brought down the cost of trading, making it more accessible. But Robinhood took things a step further. By eliminating commissions altogether, they opened the door wide open for anyone with a smartphone and a little ambition. Suddenly, everyone from college students to stay-at-home parents could become investors. This influx of new blood has been a game-changer for the market, with retail investors playing an increasingly prominent role. So, can you make money with Robinhood? The short answer? It depends. Robinhood is a tool, and like any tool, it can be used for good or bad. Used wisely, it can be a great platform to start your investing journey. Here's the thing, the stock market is inherently risky. There's no guaranteed path to riches, and even the most seasoned investors lose money sometimes. Robinhood can make things tempting. The fractional shares feature allows you to buy portions of expensive stocks, making it seem like you can dabble in big names without a huge investment. But that ease of access can also lead to impulsive decisions. Remember, that free trade comes at a cost. Robinhood doesn't offer the in-depth research tools or professional guidance you might get with a traditional broker. The fine print, how Robinhood makes money. Let's not forget, Robinhood isn't a charity. They make money in a few ways. One is through something called payment for order flow. Basically, Robinhood routes your trades through certain market makers who then compensate them for the business. This might not necessarily impact your trade, but it's important to be aware of. Robinhood also offers a premium service called Robinhood Gold. For a monthly fee, you get access to margin investing, which allows you to borrow money to buy stocks. This can magnify your gains, but it also amplifies your losses. Margin trading is a risky proposition, best left to experienced investors. Investing 101, before you dive into Robinhood. So, if you're serious about using Robinhood, here's some homework to do before you start buying stocks. First, educate yourself. There are tons of resources available online and at your local library. Learn about different investment strategies, diversification, and how to read stock charts. Second, figure out your risk tolerance. How much are you comfortable potentially losing? Remember, the goal is to grow your wealth over time, not get rich quick. Start small, invest consistently, and focus on the long game. Finally, don't chase trends or blindly follow what your friends are doing. Do your own research, understand the companies you're investing in, and have a clear plan for your portfolio. Robinhood, a launchpad, not a magic money machine. Robinhood can be a great platform to get started with investing, but it's not a magic bullet. It's a tool that requires knowledge, discipline, and a healthy dose of caution. If you approach it responsibly, Robinhood can empower you to take control of your financial future. But remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Be patient, stay focused, and don't let the allure of quick gains cloud your judgment. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.